It's so wonderful. I can hardly stand it. Just think, this time next week, you and I will be together in Paris. You'll be what? Paris, France. Dame, so how was the recording session? I guess we'll be hearing a CD all over campus pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a trip. Imagine just walking along, suddenly there's my grandmother's voice floating out a dorm window. <laughs> right now, you're hearing your grandmother's voice asking you a question. What's this about Paris? Um, Jason and I are going there next week on our spring break. Is that so? Paris? Yeah. How do you expect to manage that? Grammy, we found a way to make it incredibly affordable. Yeah, we're going to be able to use my uh, family's private jet. Right, and according to this guidebook, there's some wonderful, inexpensive little hotels mostly, there. Mostly on the left bank. Full of students, um, just, just like us, right. and painters, and uh, opera singers. Yeah, and Grammy, you know I've been saving part of my allowance from Dad every month, and with what I've been earning working for AJ, I know I can swing it. I, kn I know this must seem impulsive, but... Actually, I've, I've been talking to Keisha about Paris ever since I went there after Christmas. Yeah, I just know I'm going to love it, Grammy. Sh she will. Have, have you been there? Well, the, the whole city reeks of, of history, culture, um, art, where, wherever you turn. And there's even a museum with um, all this medieval stuff in it, and, and another with toy soldiers, mm -hmm. and there's... Imagine that. So you, you're going to go over there just to soak up the culture. <laughs> Is that it? Grandma, just think of it. Paris in the springtime. I am thinking of it. Well? Don't ask my opinion unless you want to hear it. it no, no, we do. Absolutely. I'm weighing my words. A private jet? Thousands of gallons of fuel just to jet over to Paris on a lark. Actually, Ned's pretty shrewd on taking advantage of these trips to ship cargo and, and sensitive EOQ material, so... Maybe so. And maybe the cost means nothing to you. But I can't help thinking how much it means to children across the world. Not that life shouldn't have fun and adventure, but there's adventure to be found right here. Why do you have to go so far? Because it's there. Because we can. Jason, I, I have a feeling Grandma has a couple things she wants to say to me personally. You're right. Actually, um, my presence has been requested at, at home for dinner. But if, if this trip is going to cause any problems... No. I'll call you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. I know what you're going to say. Then there's no point in my saying it. Grammy, by the time you were my age, you were married and widowed, and you were pregnant with Uncle Bradley. I would have hoped that my grandchildren would have learned from my mistakes and not be doomed to repeat them. I don't see living life to the fullest as mistakes. But you're in such a hurry, girl. <laughs> Grammy, I didn't plan to fall in love with Jason. You plan to sleep with him? <laughs> I wouldn't have to go to Paris for that. But I can't imagine a more perfect place. So? I mean, I've had plenty of opportunities before, but I waited. And it wasn't because I'm... Um, so moral or responsible, but because it just, it never seemed that important, and I wanted it to be important. Now it is. So anything that I would say to you to try to change your mind would just add fuel to your fire because you think you know what you want. I'm not defying you. No, it's not up to me to give you permission to go to Paris with Jason. 
I don't really think I need anyone's permission. Well, I suggest that you inform your parents of your intentions uh, before the fact and not after. I, w I was planning on doing that. Good. Yeah, I'm going to take Jason home to Philadelphia, and um, we'll tell him together. <laughs> <laughs>